Also tonight, News Limited boss Kim Williams joins me to discuss the company's major restructure. But first, it's a bit like the movie The Castle. A Toowoomba dad has won a victory in the High Court that could redefine the federal government's powers. Father of six, Ron Williams, took action against the Commonwealth School Chaplaincy Program. And today, the High Court found in his favour, ruling the way the scheme is funded is unconstitutional. The government's adamant the program will continue, but the ruling means other federally funded programs could face legal challenges. Bronwyn Herbert reports. It's been a long legal battle for Ron Williams and his supporters. Can I have a large long black, please? The father of six took on a David and Goliath style stoush, challenging the Commonwealth in the highest court of the land on whether it had the right to fund religious chaplains in schools. How long have we got to wait now? Oh, look at that, an hour, one hour. Ron Williams waited anxiously in his lawyer's office today for the High Court verdict to be delivered via email. Hello, Maggie. Oh, we're all waiting. The decision's down today in Williams. Must be getting pretty close. I mean, they don't do things late in the High Court. And... Oh, dear. OK, Elizabeth Bayless, Williams and the Commonwealth. <sighs> Here we go. OK, today the High Court, by majority, hold that the funding agreement... Valid. ..between... What's that? ..is invalid. That's between the Commonwealth and the Scripture Union. So we succeeded. Good grief. So, effectively, we we've had a win. We won. A stunned team couldn't quite believe their win. An enormous relief. And, um... To have had a decision, as it might appear, that we, we've had a 6-1 uh, decision is, um, is about as, as much as I could have ever wished for. The father of six has long held concerns about religious indoctrination and when the controversial school chaplaincy program was rolled out across the nation, he decided to mount a challenge. People that just feel affronted that the federal government is funding something that's clearly religious um, into our public schools. And, it, 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 and it's walking and quacking as religious <laughs> at school level as well. So it's not like we're just saying it's pretending to be. It, re it really is, and the evidence is all there. Ron Williams is writing history right now in a different sense of the word. His crusade grew stronger as supporters swelled. Once it started, the, the heartwarming support that I started to receive there was no turning back. There was absolutely no question of turning back. I'm sure the department For Scripture Union Queensland, today's High Court uh, result was not a surprise. The, the important thing is this is a decision that concerns just one historical funding model. Uh, the judges were unanimous in saying that there's no problem with chaplaincy from a church-state separation point. But Federal Education Minister Peter Garrett says funding for the program will continue. Our expectation is that chaplains will remain in schools around the country. Um, it's clear that there are a number of issues to be worked through and we would want to resolve any issues um, after proper consideration of this court decision. But today's decision goes much further than the issue of school chaplains. Constitutional lawyer George Williams says it will have profound implications for Commonwealth-funded programs of many kinds and not just concerning education. Well, the only program that is affected today is the chaplaincy program because it's the only one about which the High Court has made orders. But uh, the sort of reasoning applied by the High Court would certainly affect other programs that don't have supporting legislation, as well as programs like uh, those that relate to local government, the Roads to Recovery program. It could apply in areas of education, such as direct federal funding to private schools, to universities, potentially the sports and arts. Uh, I mean, the Commonwealth really has to look across its broad range of programs because this is something that changes just the basic rules of what it can fund and how it funds things. The federal government is still analysing the impact of the 227-page judgement, which was 10 months in the making. The reasoning that we want to assess carefully could have implications for a wide range of Commonwealth programs and our government has been very clear that we are committed to uh, the programs that we fund and the way that we fund them. What is the, government the Shadow Attorney-General George Brandis says this is a constitutional can of worms.
other sorts of payments, payments to community bodies like sporting bodies, for example, um, which don't have a, a, a standalone statutory basis. Uh, I think, um, uh, in, in view of uh, the, the, the decision this morning, um, are, are on a very unsure footing. Education expert David Zinger has analysed the decision. He believes a challenge to private school funding across the nation could be feasible. We could see a parent, a school council, a teachers union or a, an amalgamation of all of those putting up a challenge to the High Court to see whether the High Court would rule federal funding of private schools as unconstitutional. Senator George Brandis has a different take. Private education is different and in fact that's referred to in, in the decision today because that does have a statutory basis because there is an act of the Commonwealth Parliament that establishes uh, the funding arrangements. Road safety experts worry future funding of projects is under threat. Well it certainly can stymie some programs if we um, have funding ceasing, Commonwealth funding ceasing on uh, some of the roads to recovery programs. That would be a great concern. Um, hopefully this is not going to happen. Uh, but if we do get delays then you'll see people dying, you'll see people getting injured as a result of those delays. Government lawyers will be wrestling for months with the effects of the decision. What is clear is they will be profound.